Hey YouTube, it's Lip on Queen here. Just wanted to come here today and I wanted to do a quick lip balm haul. So I went to Walgreens the other day and I was looking around and they have a lot of their Valentine's Day stuff on clearance. And so while I was there, they had these marked down. These are the Lip Smacker Hugs and Kisses um, where you get like the two tin of lip balms and you also get a greeting card. They had this marked down, I think it was like two bucks or something. So I grabbed it and this is the Sweetest Candy and Be My Vanilla Time. I just think those are awesome. They're so cute. I did get the other ones that said BFF and I think Bay or whatever on it or something like that. Um, and, or not BFF, I mean Bay and um, I think one just said, did it say Smoochie or Lip Smacker or whatever? I don't remember. But um, I thought they were super cute and so I wanted to get these two but I didn't want to spend $4.99 each on both of them. So, um, I waited until it was on clearance and I grabbed it when I saw it, but how cute is that set? So, um, we're going to open it up together and you get a greeting card with it. So I think that's awesome. I think this is a really great idea that Lip Smackers came up with um, starting to do the lip balm tins because I really love those. Um, so this one says BFF and this one is in Be My Vanilla Time. This is what it looks like inside. Oh my goodness. It reminds me of the, um, what is it, the vanilla, is it vanilla frosting or vanilla icing um, sparkling gloss they have. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. Um, I love that. <laughs> it really does. That was like one of my favorite um, glosses that they made. Like whenever I was in like middle school, I love that. I had that in my bag every day. Um, and then this one here, this is Sweet as Candy. This is the beautiful pink lips. This one's a really pretty like purplish color. Mmm, this one has a mixture of like vanilla and kind of smells like strawberry a little bit. Mmm, that smells really good. It's like you get a little bit of a mixture of like a strawberry scent, a little bit, like it's really light, and then you get like a vanilla scent mix. So it's almost like a strawberry and cream kind of scent. That's what it smells like to me. That smells really good. So, <clears throat> very excited to add these to my collection. They are so cute. And uh, definitely check your Walgreens out because I know some stores are still like lingering with like um, some are having Christmas stuff still. Some still have Valentine's Day stuff. So definitely check them out. <clears throat> and then I also found this and this wasn't marked down though. This was $9.99. I could not believe my store finally got these. I'd already hauled the uh, Princess Leia and the Han Solo duo set. But um, the other day, I went to a different Raw Greens, and they actually had one of these. This is what I was looking for. This is the Mickey and Minnie, and this is their, like, Valentine's Day collection duo. And the Mickey Mouse is in Marshmallow Hugs, and Minnie Mouse is in Sweet Candy Kisses. Like, how cute is that, guys? Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited for this. So, let's go ahead and open these, and I will let you guys know what I think of them. I love when they do these little sets like this of uh, Mickey and Minnie every year. I know a lot of people are like, oh, Mickey and Minnie again, but I just think they're adorable. They're cute, and I love that Lip Smackers keeps that going. Okay, so we'll do the Mickey first, and this is in Marshmallow Hugs. And I love the fact he has a little heart on his ear. Um, and I love that he has like this mint green like packaging. I just think it's super cute and has little hearts on it. Um, so let's open this one up. So, the original uh, Zoom Zoom that had uh, Mickey on it, I think was like Marshmallow Pop or something like that. So, they're keeping this marshmallow theme going. So, <clears throat> it is a white bomb, like you would expect. Let me swatch it on my hand. Yeah, to me it smells just like, um, it smells just like the Marshmallow Pop. Which, I mean, marshmallow scents are pretty much, gen like, they smell the same, you know? Yeah, it smells like marshmallow pop. But I'm excited to have it because I just love to collect these. I love the Zoom Zooms. They are so cute. I love that. So, he is, he smells great. Like, if you love marshmallow scents, you'll love that one. 
Um, <clears throat> then we have Minnie, and she is in Sweet Candy Kisses. So I'm curious if she's going to be similar to the uh, Sweetest Candy, because I just feel like that may be close. So let's just see. Um, and she has like this little like, she has almost like a Christmassy kind of bow on her head. And she doesn't have the heart like he does. Um, but on the back she has the heart. She has like the pink and the little red hearts. And I'm, I'm just curious to see what she's going to smell like. So let's just see. Oh, and it's a red bomb. It's like a pinkish red. Oh my goodness. No, that's nothing like the tin over there. This smells fantastic. This smells like strawberry and watermelon together. It smells so good. It does. It has like a strawberry and watermelon scent. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm going to be using this one a lot. <laughs> I mean, I'll use the marshmallow one, but this one here just like, it smells so good. Oh my goodness. If you like strawberry watermelon scents and stuff like that, you'll definitely love this one. This one's fantastic. So very, very impressed with these. Um, I just love the fact that Lip Smackers keeps coming out with these little like duo sets and stuff. Um, I do wish that they would do them individually as well, like on the duo sets, because like, like the Princess Leia and the Han Solo set, if someone doesn't want to rebuy the duo set just to get the Han Solo because you can't get him separately, um... I wish that was an option that you could get him just individually and you didn't have to buy the set. But I know that's probably the gimmick behind it. They want to do the duo set so you'll buy it. Um, but um, I do wish they would do that like that because I think it would be better. Alright, and so this is just pretty much a lip balm haul, not just lip smackers. Because um, I have quite a few lip balms I've collected and I've just been... They've been just sitting in my room and not actually being reviewed or used. And I hate that I do that, but I get busy and I forget. So, let's keep going with this. Okay, so the next one I want to um, review and do first impressions of is the um, Eco Lips Mon Mongo Kiss with Mon Mongo Mongongo Oil. I think it's how you say it. I don't know. This one's in Blood Orange. I found this at a Walmart. Um, I went to Walmart and I was looking in their normal lip balm section that they have. And they had these sitting there. And I already have like the Yum Berry. I have a banana one. I have a peppermint one. A pomegranate one. And I really love... Oh, and a honey vanilla. Um, <clears throat> I really love the consistency of their formula. And the way it feels on your lips. It feels so good. Um, and they're completely USDA organic, so you don't worry about any weird chemicals in it or anything. Um, so, I'm excited for this. I've been wanting to try this one for a while, but I could never find it. So, I'm excited to have it now. So, let's open this. And it's cruelty-free if, um, if you're interested in that. Um, <clears throat> so, this is in Blood Orange. There it is. So, let's open it. And it's like a yellowish balm. Oh, wow. That has a really nice citrus scent. Oh, my goodness. That smells just like I just, like, cut up an orange. Like, it's such a loud, uh, like, citrusy orange scent. Mmm. Oh, my gosh. It smells so good. And I already know what the consistency is because I have pretty much their whole collection of this. I was just missing this one. And I love the way it feels on your lips. It's very moisturizing. It's not thick. It's like a thin consistency, but... It's one of them lip balms that would probably stay on your lips for a while. Like, you wouldn't have to reapply constantly. Um, it's really nice, and I really do recommend it if you're looking for an organic, um, um, cruelty-free lip balm. This is a really good one. Um, I definitely recommend it. And this was only, like, $1.97 at Walmart. And that was, like, the cheapest price I've ever found these because, um, I think I got mine at Whole Foods, and of course they're a little bit more pricey at Whole Foods, but um, that's where I found mine originally. And then I found some at CVS, like the peppermint one and the honey vanilla, and I think it was the pomegranate one. Those were a little bit pricier. I think they're like 4 to $5 at um, CVS, so find it for $1.97 is a great, great buy. So um, if you're looking for those, definitely look around and, you know, try to compare prices different places so you don't spend a whole lot. Um, but Walmart's the cheapest place I've found them, so. And then I have two lip balms that um, I recently found at Bed Bath & Beyond. And these are called Chicken Poop. And I know everybody's like, what? But I've actually reviewed, I mean, it's been probably a year or two ago when I reviewed it. But it was the Chicken Poop, the original lip balm. 
Um, and it's like more of a like lavender and citrus scent together. That's what it smells like. And it's just a, a yellowish beeswax balm that goes on clear. And it really is super moisturizing. It feels great on your lips. And you can find them at Bed Bath & Beyond. You can find them at Tractor Supply. And you can find them on their website. So just keep looking around if you can't find them because you, you will definitely be able to find them eventually. Um, so I have the original one. It's like a lavender citrus scent. Um, and then when I was at Bed Bath & Beyond, I found they have a mint one and a coconut one. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got to try it. So there is the mint and coconut. And these were $2.99 a piece at Bed Bath & Beyond. So that's really not a bad price for these because they are organic. And um, I just love the fact it says free range chicken poop in mint. And it says an all natural cosmetic moisturizer. It says contains no poop. So I just think that's funny. And it has, um, it has avocado oil in it, beeswax, um, jojoba oil, organic peppermint oil, and vitamin E. So that's all organic and natural stuff, so you don't have to worry about any weird chemicals. Um, so here's the mint. Let me see if I can get the, yeah, the lid come off. And this one's more of a clearish one. And, oh wow, it has a really nice peppermint scent. Oh wow, it reminds me of like a sweet mint scent. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And just by, because I have a lip color on right now, um, but just by filling it with my finger um, where, the, where I swatched it, it does feel like the same consistency of the, um, the regular chicken poop lip balm. But I'm impressed with that already. I can't wait to try that one out. This will probably be one I'll use at night time because I like to use mint lip balms at night sometimes. It just gives you that refreshing feel to your lips. So I'm excited for that. And then we also have chicken poop and coconut. So I know it sounds funny me reviewing some that's called chicken poop, but they're really fantastic lip balms. Um, so this one's in coconut. And I love the packaging on it, how it's so different. Because the original one's just black and white on the front. And then we have like a clear balm again. It almost has like a yellowish tone, but it goes on clear. Let me swatch this one. And this one is just a really light coconut scent. Like, you hardly smell coconut. It might be different when you apply it to your lips, but just swatching it, it's a very light coconut scent. So, um, I am excited for that, but I think the mint one smells better. So, <laughs> I am excited for these, though. They're, that one's, um, I think this one's going to be fantastic. But, like I said, out of the two, scent-wise, I think the mint one smells better. So, very excited for those. And let me look at the time. I don't want to go too long with this. Um, we'll do one more. Um, and this is the Sip Sip Hooray flavored lip gloss and lip balm from Treat, uh, not Treat, um, Taste, um, Taste Beauty. I found this um, at Bed Bath & Yon. It was $2.99. And I love the fact that it's like a little um, gloss and a um, balm. I think that's cool. So let's open it real quick. <clears throat> my, my voice just keeps cracking today guys um so this one here is the lip gloss and it's um a champagne and oh it smells so good it's a really nice peach scent and it goes on clear and gives you this really pretty like glittery shine so this will be a good lip topper Oh my gosh, that smells so good. It's like a really nice peach scent. And then we have this little shaker here. It's a lip balm, and it's a sparkling peach fizzy lip balm. And if you listen, you can hear it like it's like a little shaker, like to do a mixed drink in. It's, it's just really cool sounding. Okay, so when you open it, the shaker part is in this. And then um, when you wind it up and take the top off, there is your lip balm. Let me swatch it on my hand. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. It smells like a bag of peach rings candy. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Oh man, I can't wait to try that out when I don't have lip, lip uh, lipstick on. Oh my gosh, that's the cutest thing ever. And these were $2.99. It was a set with the gloss and the lip balm. 
um, at Bed Bath Beyond. It was like right there where they keep all the little knickknacks, like all the little toys and different things like that. It was just kind of sitting on a little hanger thing beside it. So I definitely took advantage of it and picked it up because I was like, that will be so much fun to uh, just play with and try out. Um, and if you love peach, you'll definitely love that because that smells fantastic. The gloss smells like peach and the balm smells like one of the peach rings candies. Like it just smells good. So that completes my lip balm haul. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Bye.